a lot of content creators, but rarely has someone managed to succeed so heavily at both. From playing in the biggest tournaments in the world to creating content that changed the internet. You already know who I'm talking about. It's the big clip. From a 14 year old kid qualifying to the World Cup six times to being the face of Fortnite on Twitch. But how did we get here? Cody Clicks Conrad was born in Connecticut, United States on January 7th, 2005. He first began his gaming journey at the age of five on Minecraft and Call of Duty. He would sneak into his brother's room and use his PC. Even at this young age, he realized his dream was to become a professional gamer. He always knew he was good at video games, but it was with the introduction of Fortnite that his dreams of becoming a professional gamer could finally come true. Fortnite was exploding and creating careers overnight. Ah! Let's go! Where's the second big game? Dr. Lupo! No! He's under us! <laughs> hey, Tim, let's go! Ah! Oh! Come here, Jimmy. Comment and subscribe below the channel. What the? Oh, God! <laughs> it wouldn't be so easy for Clicks, though. He didn't have his own PC or even a proper setup to try and go pro. Clicks wasn't just some spoiled kid whose parents were going to let him drop out of school and buy him a $10,000 setup. He had to convince his father that he could actually make this a career, and he did this by signing a contract with him. Clix's dad what? agreed to buy him a PC if he promised to pay it back in installments through money he would earn on Fortnite over his summer break from school. His father was about to realize just how good he was. And then two and a half weeks later, he hey. says, Dad, Dad, you know, guess how much money I made? Guess how much money I made? I says, I don't know, $200? He goes, no, 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 check this out. So I looked at a PayPal account and he made $1,035 in two and a half weeks. It wasn't just about the money though. Clix had to really prove that he could make this a career. At this what? point in early 2019, That's Clicks was streaming crazy. to between 20 to 100 average viewers. It was these early days where people got their first glimpse of not only Clicks's insane ability at Fortnite, but his personality and desire to make content. He would stream anything from scrims to build fights, all while uploading montages and highlights to YouTube. While he was seeing steady growth and success throughout this period, little did he know everything was Guys, about to Guys, you don't want to add stuff. In March of 2019, I Epic can't Games stop those for you. I'm sorry. Fortnite World Cup. I don't think he knows that he's got the health advantage. Gus, otherwise, he would just drop down, right? Like, Perplex, he would have had to land double shotgun shots. Yeah, he's just gonna wait it out. I so. mean, he's, he is three counts. Clicks being a potential favorite to qualify was picked up by Misfits Gaming before the qualifiers even began. This was it. He was now a professional gamer. However, the job was far from done. With millions of players competing around the world and only 100 solo and 50 duo spots, you had to be in the, game. the best of the best. And without a doubt, Clicks was. Go! Did band on Fortnite? He managed to qualify not once, not twice, but five times to the Fortnite World Cup, qualifying in almost every single week of solos and qualifying alongside his orgmate Skeptic in duos. This would see an explosion of growth for Clix's Twitch channel skyrocketing from an average of 133 viewers in April of 2019 at the start of World Cup qualifiers to finishing on an average of over 8,000 viewers in July. That is an increase of over 6,000% in only wow. three months. People were beginning crazy. to get a taste of what clicks could do. Yet with this explosion in growth and notoriety, Clicks also found himself in controversy and drama. One of his major keys to success and foundations of his fighting was the ability to almost always take his opponent's walls first try. This was when wall taking was considered a highly advanced mechanic and few people were doing it and those who were could not do it anywhere near as well as Clicks. Many people began to accuse Clicks of using macros or cheats to take players walls first try. 
my Your fingers better, fingers better. Are you 20? Yeah, no, I'm one. With most people realizing Click I'm wasn't so young. using any illegal software or cheats, people even began to start rumors that the candy act he used had special abilities to take players' walls. People couldn't believe he was just that good. All this drama only fueled Clix's growth and coming into the World Cup, he was one of the favorites to take home the crown in solos. Ladies and gentlemen, the Fortnite, Fortnite World, World Cup. Cup. I can't believe it was hosted by Kerr, Diddy, and Ninja. That's insane. At the age of 14, I didn't team. It was a bug. It was a bug. This must be the biggest moment of your life, uh, young life, I'm assuming. 100%. This is one of the biggest moments. <laughs> Millions of people are going to be watching this. He's saving those. Don't you worry. I guarantee before too long, a player like this is going to make plays. Sitting the edge of the storm. The box up. He's going for edit shots. Big hit. My gosh. The outside. We've been picking up his sixth elimination. While we all know who won World Cup, Clicks ended up placing 18th in solos and 35th in duos. His solo placement especially being Oh, the very points are so weird. But some people people were still disappointed due to him qualifying for almost every single week. Clicks bounced back quickly though. Fortnite was about to see trios become the competitive game mode for the first time ever, and Clicks found himself played playing with... alongside the two biggest names in the scene, yeah. Faze Sway and Tifu, which led to some incredible content. Yo, yo, yeah, I kind of forgot, forgot all, all this. However, it unfortunately didn't lead to the placements they were looking for. Click, Spades, and Crims, however, were a different story. Placing first in numerous weeks of FNCS Season X qualifiers, they were one of the favorites going into the grand final. <laughs> yeah, Crims. While not being able to bring home the title, a seventh place was still a very solid finish. This did begin to spell the story of Clix's competitive career. While I would have put it nicer, Mongrel did sum it up while talking to Clicks about his placement. Why did you place the solo of Joe Cup? So we'll even on to the Shut up, shut up, shut up. Oh, 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 was by no means placing poorly. He just had higher expectations going into finals that he couldn't seem to deliver on. Yet it wouldn't be his placements that would see the next surge in growth for his channel. Actually quite the opposite. It was during one of the darkest periods in competitive Fortnite in chapter two, season one, with next to no tournaments, content feeling dry and boring, Clicks revolutionized Twitch on Fortnite with the introduction of box fight wages. Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, so Fortnite knows about the reload glitch and they just fix it? Oh my god. Look at your friends are like fucking bots, bro. <laughs> Clix's average viewership skyrocketed from 8,000 in January of 2020 to over 20,000 by March. With millions of people tuning in across Twitch and YouTube to follow not only his insane 100 to 0 record, but also his over the top personality and interaction. Yeah, he's on 100 to 0. I forgot insane. about that. Keep talking, I'm leaving, I'm refunding you. I'm not even joking. No one it's likes you. Shut up. Type 2 of this is the most annoying kid you ever Here. talked to. Shut the fuck up, you little bitch. <laughs> 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 <I'm laughs> This was when people truly got to see what I believe to be the key to Clix's success. Not just his ability to be insanely good at Fortnite, but entertain massive amounts of people with his personality and natural ability to create content. <laughs> this period through Clix's streams created some of the most memorable moments in Fortnite history. While there were pros such as Mr. Savage and Mongrel pulling in insane viewership, they weren't building the community and following that Clix was. 
It was around this time I truly believe Clicks made a conscious decision to continue pursuing competitive Fortnite, but use his platform to build a community that would survive past Fortnite. With That's this, smart. in July of 2020, Clicks would announce his signing to NRG in one of the biggest org announcements in Fortnite history, becoming the crowning jewel in unarguably the most stacked roster in Fortnite. With a few solid finishes throughout squads and solo FNCS, it was in Chapter 2, Season 4, The Marvel season and the return of trios that clicks looked like he was going to finally break the grand finals curse paired up with veteran IGL Bizzle and one of the newest scariest Illist. fighters in the game Illist things were looking great and during the qualifiers they secured a fourth fifth fifth and second however the finals would yet again prove to be clicks's downfall placing in 14th the clicks curse was looking like it would never be broken the last uh. five FNCSs in a row, all following the same pattern. Consistent higher placements in the qualifiers to then struggle in the finals. To break this curse would require one of the most stacked teams we've ever seen. Booga? Right yeah. Awesome. One more 30. Is that it? No, just get out. Go with me. Is that it? No, nice. Keep dropping. Keep dropping. Yeah. Come on, come on, Teddy. Nice. Get the loot. Get the loot quick. Get the loot. Go, 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 go. Nice. Let's Go, Bizzle! Let's go, baby! Let's go, Bizzle! Two IGLs on the same team. After placing third in the last trio FNCS, Booga's decision to split with <laughs> Avery and Jampa to instead play with Clicks and Bizzle confused a lot of people. Oh, I remember that. Like the team to break the Clicks curse. A fifth place. Not the FNCS crown many were hoping for, but the best place Three that Clicks has now. had yeah, in I guess the FNCS all grand ideals, finals yeah. ever. And with another season of trios around the corner and the team sticking together, things were looking good. Sadly, Chapter 2 Season 6 would prove to be the worst performance of all three members' careers. Getting locked into a heated spawn battle against Gabe, Tahi, and Sprite at Sweaty Sands, they didn't even make it into the reboot rounds, meaning they had no chance to qualify for the grand finals. The fallout of this team's performance can still be seen today, with many people blaming Lizzle for their off-spawn trouble. It also didn't help after all of this, yeah. Gabe, Tahi, and Sprite would go on to make reboot rounds and pull off one of the most memorable clutches in Fortnite history, securing their spot in the grand finals without click. Didn't he get 33rd when he landed Steamy? Oh my god, 1v2 oh situation. Oh my god! Now it's a 1v1 situation. Sprite, six bills left. If he clutches this 1v3, this is the most clutch play we've ever seen in Fortnite competitive history. I don't think there's been anything better. Oh my god. Ooh. No! Calc! What are you doing? You just got 1v3'd. Sadly, Clicks did not bounce back well from this performance, going on to struggle in all remaining FNCS tournaments for the rest of Chapter 2. It was time for change. It was time for a new era. It was time for IGL Clicks. If you don't know competitive Fortnite at a high level, most teams will have a designated IGL or leader, the player who calls the shots and makes the decisions. This is a good video. A lot of experience and understanding of the game. If you want to have full control over your performance, this is the role you need to be. With the announcement of duos as the competitive game mode for all of 2022, Clicks sick of the Clicks curse and wanting to take things into his own hands, found the scariest duo he could in day and decided to try his hand at lead. <laughs> Oh my god! Check in him! Alright. Box. Cutter. Box. Quick level. Be fine. Okay. Let's go, baby. Baby, come on. They were dangerous. No longer just doing zone wars and box fights on stream for content, but actually hitting the VODs, getting a coach, and taking his performances into his own hands. This was not even diving into the deep end. This was flying headfirst into the ocean. Clicks never having IGL'd before was going to try and take the reins over one of the most aggressive and difficult fraggers to control in the history of Fortnite. Things were off to a slow start for the NRG duo in Chapter 3 Season 1, placing 27th in the first qualifier and 16th in the second qualifier. 
many people questioning Clix's decision to IGL, telling him he should just stick to fragging. However, a sixth place in semi-finals had a lot of people surprised and began to pay attention. Maybe a slow start but strong finish would finally break the Clix curse, and the team ended on a very respectable seventh in grand finals. While not the best performance of Clix's career, his first time in a new role shocked many with his ability to mature as a player and a person. Things were looking up. With another season of duos, Clix and Day would run it back, but unfortunately could not replicate the same success. After an up and down qualifying run, they made it to the grand finals only to place 35th. Almost everyone Ugh. in the community, myself included, urged Clix to go back to being a fragger as he was wasting his mechanics and wasn't going to make it as an IGL. We couldn't have been more wrong. Clix decided to split with Dave, but instead of finding an IGL, decided to trust his instincts and pick up Dukes and give it one last shot. And thank God he did. Clicks alongside Dukes got a fourth place in FNCS Grand Finals, his best placement ever proving to himself and everyone that he can 100% make it as an IGL. And before Chapter 3 was over, he had one final chance to prove it on the world stage at the FNCS Invitation. Team that needs no introduction, Clicks and Duke, climbing their way up the ranks, fourth in the most recent NA East FNCS. They won the first Elite Cup of their region. A difficult spawn fight between Clicks and Pink would unfortunately cause both teams as <laughs> favorites to struggle. But Clicks and Dukes did manage to come out on top in 15th, even picking up a win at the event. Outside of zone, he has the only chance right now, but he gets the down on the Duke. Clicks versus Pabby. He's trying to go the end. I've never heard the crowd louder, by the way. Like, the crowd was just like freaking out about like that was like the biggest win in the entire like this an underwhelming performance room. given their circumstances clicks was happy with the result and heading into chapter four continued to be one of the most talked about pros in the competitive scene what does the future look like for clicks what is more important content creation or competing Booga had these same questions to ask on clicks stream and he had this to say nah, bro what is the real goal <laughs> I just want my stream. Like, just be honest. I mean, bro. I just want to succeed in, in everything. I, I'm telling you right now, if I stopped streaming and I let's just say fell off, but I'm doing good in comp, I would be so. F I wouldn't give a f about comp. While this video has mostly focused around clicks as a competitive player, it is his growth and development as a content creator that has outshone it all. He has launched a successful merch company, hosted streams and events that have impacted the entire internet. He has conclusively proven he is not just a Fortnite kid. You'll still see him at the top of the Fortnite category anytime he's live, but he's developed so much more than that. A new chapter for Clicks has now started, and while making this video, I've realized just how much he's grown in this period. He'll still make stupid jokes. I love when you stick your cone in sand on my butt. He still thinks he's jacked. You see that? You see that? but he's still one of the biggest faces in the Fortnite scene, and I don't think that's gonna change for a very long time. Hey, WVid though. Actual WVid, but that was a good video. So that was good. Bro, I don't know what, I don't know what I just heard. <laughs> nah, nah, on a real note, like I actually do have so much respect for, for him and his desire to just grind, whether it's content or comp. Um. He's great at what he does. He's awesome. And I mean, that's why you guys and everybody else loves his content and, and playing so much because he has spent so much time and dedication throughout the years trying to build himself and build a community with you guys and grind his ass off. And it seriously deserves 100% of so many people's respect. So he's absolutely insane. And I'm sure it's only going to get even crazier and there's going to be so many more new ideas and... I mean, I it just, it's insane. It's just insane to see how far people come. You know what I'm saying? The fact that he does both is huge. Yeah, 100%.